Today on Pots and Trials we're getting the lawn ready for winter and that's brought to you with the support of Cobra Garden and Darlac. Hello and welcome to Pots and Trials. Well here we are now the first week in November. Very much feels like autumn is here. The weather's turned cooler. We've certainly had a few ground frosts which is calming all the growth down including the lawns because the grass has carried on growing right the way through from spring, no break in the summer, it's been green and lush all the time. So this cool weather will now gradually slow it down. But that doesn't mean you've got to stop mowing at this point. Lots of people think, oh, it's November, put the mower away and we'll wait until next spring to get it out again. Well, even though the air temperatures are cool, the ground is still fairly warm and the grass is growing, albeit much slower. So we can do a little bit of maintenance now that will keep the lawn in good condition, help it get through the winter and then get it off to a really good start next spring. So first thing we're going to do is just do a little bit of mowing. Now quite difficult at this time of the year because even when it's a dry day like today it's often quite dewy and you know it's dewy till lunchtime and the nights are drawing in. We only get a very short window to mow it so you've got to pick it when it's as dry as possible and then we're going to do just a little bit of scarifying and aeration just to get the good uh, the grass in good condition and aid any drainage through the winter. So first thing I'm going to mow it but this grass is quite dewy and at this time of the year we have a big problem with worms and casting worms and as you can see down here there's quite a lot of worm casts. This is where the worms push up these piles of soil um, from below there. It passes through the worm and they pass it out like this. So worms are a big problem in the garden. Hello Molly, are you okay? Uh, Molly's coming today because it's her birthday this week, aren't you? You're 12, aren't you Molly? And you want to be out in the garden helping me with the lawn. Good girl. The problem with worm casts is when you mow over them they smear on the wheels or the roller of the mower and it flattens them out and that is then an ideal place for weed seeds to grow next year. So what we need to do is to get rid of all these worm casts down here and the easiest way to do that is to brush them off or get Molly to eat them. Come on. Um, so a, a stiff brush or I've got a besom here which I made last year just out of some uh, willow branches and, and it's ideal and it does two things. It scatters the worm casts. If I just brush that over you can see they're all being scattered now so they're not going to smear and it also knocks the dew off the grass. So it's just a case of going over the lawn really quickly in wide sweeps like that just gently knocks off the worm cast disperses the dew so it's nice and dry to mow and you can cover quite a sizable lawn in just a few minutes doing this and it really does do a power of good to the lawn. Right, so mowing at this time of the year, the idea is just to take the top off. We're never going to cut close and we're not going to scalp it. Normally, as you know, I'm a fan of mulch mowing, but I've taken the mulch plug out and I've put the collection on because I want to pick up the grass clippings, but it also gets any leaves that have fallen down at this time of the year. So it is literally just a case of mowing the grass, just taking the tops off um, to tidy it up before we do the next phase. Once you've mown it and just take the top off, what I want to do next is just a very light scarifying. Nothing too drastic, I'm not going to rip lots and lots out of it because otherwise the grass wouldn't have time to recover before winter. We do a heavier scarifying in the spring but just light maintenance work at this time of the year and that will just get any dead material out and just any bits of moss and thatch that's built up in the bottom of the grass just to let more air in and that in itself will help with drainage. And one way of doing it is with a rake and this is a really good one for the job. Um, this is one of the Dalek rakes and you can adjust it to narrow or widen the tines on it like that and I find this really good so you can set it for the best need. So I usually have it about halfway and what I want to do if you look in here there's not a lot of moss in this but there's just a little bit of moss and a bit of sort of rubbish built up in the bottom of the grass so what I'm going to do is literally just give it 
a light rake like that and you can see that already that is just bringing out some of this old material like this it's a mixture of moss and bits of dead grass but what that's doing is also lifting up the tufty bits and it's just allowing more air to get in so I could go over the lawn like that and again it wouldn't take that long and that would do the power of good that very light lawn raking or of course if you don't want to use a rake like that then what you can use is a little scarifier like this an electric scarifier um, this one has got um, the times on like this if you see in here this one has got wire times on so it's basically going to do the same as a manual rake these whiz round very quickly and this one has the added benefit of course that if I put the box on it will also collect them so again don't set it too low and I'll just show you what it looks like I'll just do a little bit just a little bit there and that is fine so I'm just very lightly taking a little bit of it off you can hardly tell where I've been which is what we want at this time of the year and you know it doesn't really look much difference because it's collecting it but already you can see it's taken out quite a bit of old material from the lawn so that is going to do again a great deal of good for the lawn in helping the water to drain over the winter and the final thing is once you've done that light scarifying and remember if you do rake it with a, a hand rake like this what I tend to do is then probably just go over it one final time with the mower just to cut off those tufty bits again uh, but once you've done that the final thing that I'm going to do is with a garden fork now this is quite well drained soil here but we often get very wet weather through the winter and even well drained soils can get a little bit waterlogged and paddle down so if you've got an area of your lawn you don't have to do it all but if you've got part of your lawn that gets very wet sits in water at certain times of the year certainly worth now just getting your garden fork and just pushing it in about four to six inches like that and this because the ground is moist we had quite a lot of rain a few days ago this is quite moist and it's pushing in very easily it's a delight to do and what that will do is it will help to get rid of surface water if it stands um, so when it rains again next time we've got some drainage channels there for the water to go down into the subsoil but more importantly it gets some air to the roots so it prevents the roots from getting waterlogged and air is needed for healthy root growth so a little bit of mowing a little bit of light raking just to sort of groom the old grass out and a little bit of aeration in some areas of the lawn probably where you walk or where it lies wet will help to get your lawn in good condition over the next month while it's still growing get a good root system and build up a good base of grass so come next spring it will grow away and you'll have a fantastic lawn so it is worth the effort Thank you for watching and I'm going to carry on spiking the lawn and doing a bit of lawn maintenance while the sun's shining on this lovely autumn day. We'll be back next week and I'm going to be getting the pruners and the secretaires out to do a bit of autumn pruning so we'll see you then. Bye!